Hey everybody, super long day here, and I know I took a couple days um, away from doing the more feedback, which I really meant to do every single day, just as a way to kind of keep myself productive and in the flow of things, and I missed a couple days, and there were some busy days, that's no excuse though, so uh, yeah, I shall forever suck cocks in hell, that's my punishment for that, but anyway, I thought I'd come back uh, kind of refreshed, and talk about my final thoughts on Resonance of Fate and uh, about what it meant to me, what it means for, you know, the RPG genre and if it's really changed anything or made any um, any lasting effect. And I want to try to keep this as, as organized as possible. I don't have a problem with organization, especially when it's not scripted, but I like doing things unscripted. It keeps helps the flow of things natural, you know, as... As unnatural as my flow is. And let's stop talking about my period and get on with this. So, Resonance of Fate in a nutshell. Um, really should not have been a video game, in my opinion. It should have been an anime series. It would have been perfect as an anime series. Because not only would it have been um, a really great, uh, kind of solid homage to Cowboy Bebop. Which, you know, it's been... What? Cowboy Bebop was... What the hell was that? 98? So, I mean, it's been 12 years since, you know, give or take. It's been 12 years since Cowboy Bebop aired and was, the you know, I mean, different people have different opinions. But in my opinion, Cowboy Bebop was great. It was a really solid show. Solid, uh, is it 26 episodes, I think? Uh, solid 26 episodes. It was, uh, it was lighthearted and heavy at the same time. It had an intricate backstory that you could follow. But at the same time, every episode was kind of interesting in its own right. And because it was a TV show... Because it was a series, that was a good move. Because on the one hand, you could look forward to every new episode, to you know, just for the fact that you would see what would happen in that episode. Like, oh, what kind of what kind of case are they going to have this time? What kind of bounty are they going to be after? Or is it going to be you know, um, a more uh, you know, character centric episode? Like, is this one going to be you know? I mean, most of the episodes are character centric, but not all of them were heavy. I mean, is this going to be one that's heavy on backstory, and are we going to find out more about the characters, you know, their history? Or is this going to be, like, you know, another bounty that's going to be fun and awesome? Because either way, it's good. And that's why it worked. Because it was episodic, and it was a TV show, and it was presented to you as a television show. So you liked it, and you waited. And that's just kind of the, that's the format, you know? You like it, you wait. You wait for the new episode, and then you either like it or you don't like it. Now, the problem with doing the episodic or chapter-based um, format in a video game, especially an RPG, uh, that's really that really stands out in Resonance of Fate, is the fact that you're playing a game, and so this isn't presented to you gradually. It's presented to you at whatever pace you take it. it being the case, when you're playing a game, you're playing to beat it. You're playing to get to the end. You know what I mean? You're playing to enjoy it first and foremost, but then you're playing it to get to the end. You're playing it to see the resolution, the climax of the story. And that's why RPGs benefit from having a really tight central story. And even if they're not tight, at least involving. You know what I mean? Because there are only a couple of cases, a couple of instances in the past, you know, five to five years or so that I would call any RPG story remotely unique or original. I mean, they have been presented, excuse me, <laughs> they have been presented uniquely and um have there have been many that have put their own unique spin on you know a cliche or kind of an archetype and um you know have done well because of it but in terms of anything really unique for the genre i can't there's not much that i can name in the past five years and um but as long as it's involving it kind of it tends to break that break that barrier i mean even if a story isn't completely unique one of a kind or necessarily you know it, even if it doesn't have that huh that you're looking for um as long as it's mildly involving and it, you kind of get swept up in the motions you know there's no way that you can not enjoy it you can think that it's not good you can think that it's a piece of shit but you know a good example is i just recently watched uh, shutter island and i thought the movie was bullshit and it sucked uh, especially for something that Martin Scorsese did, and especially for something that, um, you know, was a follow-up to The Departed. Uh, I think he did a movie between this and The Departed. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. But, um, 
yeah, not a good follow up to that. Not a good follow up to anything. It was really a uh, really typical, uh, really cliche, um, extremely cliche. I mean, you could, it just went through the motions. You knew what was going to happen before it happened. <sighs> the acting was pretty good, but in in you know most cases, but the story was just just trite and it was bullshit. But at the same time, you got involved in it. Even if you could guess everything ahead of time, and even if you knew, you even if you saw its hand before it presented it, you still got involved in it. Um, and because of that, I still enjoyed it. I didn't think it was a great movie, and I didn't think it was anything special, but it was enjoyable. You know, I sat through it, and it was fun. And the same thing can be said for, um, you know, that that would be the ideal RPG, because not all of them can attain that that special something where they kind of carve out a, a lasting, memorable impression on you. So the least they can do is be enjoyable in terms of their plot. And Resonance of Fate could not even do that because of its episodic format. Because you're trying to play through the game and get to the end, you find yourself thinking, when is it going to pick up? When am I going to start finding out more things about their backstory? And even then, are the characters' backstories going to have anything to do with uh, the overarching central plot? Because there is a central plot. There is a central plot, but it takes until chapter 15 to even get moving. Okay, that's chapter 15 out of a game with, I'm pretty sure, has 17 chapters. Now, granted, I didn't beat it. I gave up. I'm admitting that to you right now. Didn't beat it. I gave up. And that's because it just couldn't hold my interest any longer. I was like, you know what? I've played more than halfway through the game now. I'm a couple chapters from the end. It's a piece of shit. I'm not interested in the story anymore. I'm not interested in the battle system. I give up. It just it fell apart. And my personal belief is because of the episodic structure, you know. I wanted to get to the end. I wanted to see a resolution. I wanted to see a culmination of all, you know, the three central characters. I wanted to see a culmination of their histories come together, which they were doing. But in the end, they just weren't as interesting as as they could have been. You know what I mean? It was just, it was a really shoddy plot with a really shoddy narrative and a really shoddy structure that just couldn't hold my interest. And I, I'm thinking that it's going to be like that for a lot of people who try out the game expecting, you know, maybe a solid or enjoyable um, story to play through. It just it can't, it can't deliver on that front. It just can't deliver because it, it doesn't, doesn't hold you. And like I said, if it were a TV show, it would fare much better because it would be able to hold you because it would be presented to you at the creator's pace. They would be... You know, and so it would kind of hold you. It would hold your attention. But because you're given the freedom to play through this, y you want to come to a fucking conclusion. And the conclusion, you know, every part of the story happen must happen during the last two chapters because nothing, like fucking not a bullshit, happened in the entire rest of the game. And and it's just. It's frustrating when you're playing that, and you want to you want your playtime to mean something. You want to achieve something, and you're not achieving anything. It's like you're playing through a TV show. I don't want to play through a TV show. I want to watch a TV show and be captivated by it. I want to play a fucking video game where I feel like my playtime actually makes a bit of difference. You know, instead of just mindless grinding and random shit happening. You know, every chapter, you have one chapter where it's fucking Christmas and you go deliver Christmas presents to kids. What bearing does that fucking have on anything? That's chapter 14. Uh, that's at the end of the game. What? What? You know, it's like, ah, I hate to borrow from the fucking AVGN, but what were they thinking? I mean, really, it's just terrible, terrible story, terrible story structure. And it's one of those cases where it's not even that it's bad. Like, you know, it might have been interesting, but just the way they presented it was so bad, it just can't hold your attention. I wish it would. I mean, the battle system's fairly interesting, but the battle system can't carry an entire fucking 70-hour game. That's not, you know, it can't. And that's the case here. And I think, um, I know this was kind of, it wasn't a big release. I, it, as far as I know, Resonance of Fate was something that, was overlooked by most of the gaming community, even the people who were, you know, into RPGs, they decided to go with Final Fantasy XIII instead. And at this point, I'm bound to say that that was actually the better choice. You know, you have the better, not necessarily the better story, but you have the better story structure, you have the better presentation, you, you know, you definitely have the huge, um, you know, astronomical production values that went into the game that make it 
I assume, what would be a more enjoyable experience. Um, and if you have any input on that, if you want to give me your opinions about it, if you've played Resonance of Fate, if you played Final Fantasy XIII, uh, drop me a comment. You know, you know the deal, dog. Drop the shit. Uh, if you know, if you're too ghetto, type it. If you got a way to respond to it in video response, respond to it. And I'll be waiting eagerly to hear anything you guys have to say, as usual. Super long D. Alpha now.